Hey everyone, it's Alice and Michelle, and today I would like to show you my cheat on how I was able to get my Etsy mini onto my WordPress.com blog. Now, I want to apologize in advance for the way I may be giving this tutorial. If there's anything that I explain that is difficult to understand, please feel free to ask any questions in the comments section and I will answer them as soon as possible. I'm not a professional at giving tutorials. I don't know a lot of coding, but basically I had extreme difficulty trying to get my Etsy mini onto my blog this morning. And I thought, why not help anyone else who may be having the same issues that I had? So the reason I call it a cheat is because WordPress, for whatever reason, I have no idea why is no longer compatible with the JavaScript coding that is the Etsy mini. So I swear to you, I Googled, I YouTubed, I looked all over the place for like at least an hour trying to figure out a workaround on how to get my Etsy mini onto my blog. And I found a lot of things, but none of them helped and seemed really outdated and just would not work. So I just kind of just gave up and I was like, let me just cheat and, you know, create the illusion that my mini is here. And I'm going to explain to you now how I did this. Now we're going to go to Etsy.com and go to our Etsy mini page, which you can do that by typing Etsy.com slash your slash mini. Or you can click on your shop if you're logged in here. Just click this link right here and scroll down to the promote page or the promote section, sorry, and click on Etsy mini from there. Now it seems like my internet's going a little bit slower. It might be because I'm recording a video, so I apologize if things take a bit longer. Now I went ahead just like normal to create my Etsy mini and I wanted it vertical instead of horizontal so I did two columns and four rows just to have you know my first eight items my most recent eight items and here when I copied and pasted this page it just did not work so after an hour of struggling I gave up and this is what I did I took a screenshot of this mini the way it is right here if you're on a Windows, you could simply hit the print screen button on your keyboard, but I'm on a Mac, so for other Mac users, I clicked Command, Control, Shift, and then the number three. And it took a snapshot and saved to my clipboard. Once you have your snapshot or your screenshot, you wanna open up any photo editing software that you have on your computer. Um, I use GIMP because it's free. You may have PaintShop Pro, Photoshop, or just Paint, or something similar to that effect. So you open up your program, and then you paste your copied image in here. And it copies the entire screen. And you're gonna need to cut that out. So I go ahead and click on this cropping tool, and just click and highlight what I want to save. Now originally I saved it right here so that I could type in the link underneath, but it didn't center properly. So it might be easier to just crop the whole thing in there. So I'm gonna double click that and you could see here that it's the same size and everything. So I'm just going to save it now. You can hit save as or export. I hit export because when I save it, it saves as an entire project instead of just an image. Now I already did this and saved it as my Etsy mini, but I didn't include the link at the bottom. So I'm just going to re-save this as Etsy mini number two. Okay. Once you have exported your image or saved it onto your computer, you're going to want to upload it into a 
photo sharing website. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of GIMP and go over to Flickr. This is where I originally uploaded it, as you can see here. But that was before I realized that WordPress had its own media sharing feature. So go into your WordPress and click on the dashboard for the blog that you're posting to and click on this media button here. And here in the media section, you can upload your image and get the link. And I'm trying to talk <laughs> while it takes forever to load the next page. I apologize for this. Okay, now that we're here, you want to click on the Add New button. And that's going to take us to the Upload page, where you can find where you saved your image onto your computer. Click Select File. Locate the file that you saved. I saved mine as Etsy Mini 2. And Open. Okay, so now that it's uploaded, I'm going to click on the Edit button down here. It opens up a new window, and you can copy the file URL, which is basically the address of where your image is located. Okay, so I right-click and copy here, or you can put, you can press Control C or Command C, depending on the computer you're using. And next, what I did was I went into Appearance and Widgets, and then pasted the image onto my sidebar. But I did that because I know how to, you know, type in the code for an image and a link. But just in case uh, any of you don't know how to do that, I'm going to do another cheat where we can go into the post section here and just add a new post. And since we have the link for the photo copied to our clipboard, we can just paste it once this post editor opens. Goodness, this video is already seven minutes. I'm sorry, this isn't supposed to take so long. I apologize. All right, now that we're here, um, I want you to go into the visual tab so you could see exactly the way the post is going to look. Now we're going to hit Add Media. Actually, we don't need to copy it. We can just right click right here and insert the photo. But if you had a little picture icon, you could just click on that and then paste the code that we just copied, which now I realize we didn't need to do that. So now that we have the image in the post, we're going to click on it and then click this link button and it's linked to the image, but we want to link it to the shop. So we're going to go to your shop, and I clicked on the wrong link, of course. Now I have to wait. <laughs> okay, we're going to view the public shop and just copy this link. So hit Control C or Command C, and then Control or Command V, and paste it right into here. And that is where you will, your clients or customers will be sent when they click on that photo. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and click on the text tab now so we can see the code. And we just want to highlight this. You can either click and drag or press Control A or Command A and then Control C to copy. Now we can go over here in Appearance and Widgets, and we're going to leave this page. You could click Move to Trash since we don't need that anymore, but I think it automatically saves as a draft, which you can delete view than it does for me, depending on the layout that you're using. Um, on this particular layout, I have a bunch of sidebars and footers. Now, I wanted it in my primary sidebar, but since I already have one there. I'm going to paste it into, and all I did was I scrolled down here to the text and HTML widget. I dragged it, 
I dragged it up. This is proving to be more difficult than it needs to be. Go. There we go. I dragged it up here and just drop it here. And then you can title it whatever you want. I'm going to title it Sensible on Etsy. And then you want to control V and paste that code that we just copied, unless you know how to type it in yourself. And then we save and voila, that is it. It's all you have to do. Now you can go to your blog and double check that it worked properly. Click on read blog. And for me, what we just did should show up on the left side. And let's see if it worked. There we go, okay. So it's called Sensible on Etsy, and there it is right there. And when you click on it, it should take you to your shop page. Unfortunately, each photo isn't individually linked to the particular item, but it does link to your Etsy shop. It's a little workaround. It's, you know, not perfect. This is a last resort type of cheat. So until WordPress and Etsy are compatible again, this is how I simulated the look of my Etsy mini on my blog. I hope this video helped. I'm sorry it took way longer than expected to explain to you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate to message me or leave a comment in this video. And that's it. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you later.